Hello filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central and you've asked for it, you want to see how to use the new Surface Tracker in DaVinci Resolve 18. And to be honest, this took me a little while to really figure out how to use it properly because I would get a lot of slippage in stuff. And it was just, it was driving me nuts. And then I finally kind of figured out the key to it and it's contrast. So I'm going to show you first, let's take a look at what this looks like. So I got this little logo on my uh, jacket there. Looks completely natural. It matches with the folds of the jacket. It's perfectly tracked. Yeah, that looked good. All right. So how do we accomplish it? All right. So I'm going to come over here. I've got that clip selected. I'm going to go to the color mode and okay, we're going to, I've got this kind of zoomed in here a little bit so we can see this. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add another node and you know, this one, it might have some coloring. It might have some mid-tone, you know, detail. It might have some other stuff on it, but right now I'm going to add another node and this one is going to be contrast. So, you know, if you move the contrast up, if you move it down, you're going to get really soft. You, if you move it up, you're going to get more, more detail in here and you can play around with this. You, you want as much detail as possible. So when I'm looking at the jacket here, what I want is I want to see as much of this material as possible. And sometimes I might need to, let's bump up our shadows. There we go. So I'm, I want as much detail in that thing as possible. Okay, next we're gonna go to our library and I'll go to our surface tracker and I'm gonna grab this and just drop it on the line, okay? And we're starting off in bounds and I'm going to just draw in here so that it sees, you know, kind of where, where I want it to, to look basically. And we'll go over to mesh and depending on the material, it may just do a good job right out of the gate. And in this case, I think it's going to, there's a lot of tracking points in here. Now you can remove points, you can add points, you can shuffle points around, you can do all kinds of stuff to fine tune that mesh. And I don't really want to go into all of that because it's pretty intuitive. I can zoom in and just move one dot around if I want to and really get it to line up with the folds of something. Like most of the tools in Resolve, you can just dig into it forever. Now, if there's not a lot of stuff, but there's some really key areas, you, you can probably turn down the number of points. If there's less, you might need to turn it up. You know, what's the minimum point spacing? You might need to increase that or decrease that. But once you have the mesh pretty much in place, you're gonna go over to track. The quality, I'm always gonna just put on better. It's just, cause it, it works better, okay? The motion range, mesh rigidity, uh, tracking keyframes, uh, most of that I'm not gonna touch. I'm just gonna change it to better. Now at this point, I'm going to click on these left and right arrows so that it's going to do the tracking. Now, keep in mind, this is a MacBook Pro M1 Max with 64 gigs of RAM. So this is about as finely tuned of a machine as you can get for doing this type of work. On other machines, it's going to be slow. It may crash. It, it, may, it just might be unusable. But on a nice high-end Apple silicone machine, this works really, really well. And you can see it's tracking that quite nicely right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and let this fish, and this this wasn't sped up. This is real time right here that you're seeing. I'm just talking through it so you can see what it was actually like in real time. And so now it's gonna go the other direction and wrap everything up. So only takes a, a small amount of time. And this is going to depend on really what you're trying to do. 
and this should work really well. Uh, something I saw earlier today, which kind of inspired me, was someone put a, a scar on someone's face, and that that was really cool. Okay, so now we have our our surface mapped. We're going to go over to Result, and I'm going to go to Overlay Placement and select Go to Reference. Now this is going to bring up this bounding box here, and I'm going to just close these all in because I only want that to be the size of the area that I'm working in. And then we'll fine tune this once we get our graphic in. Now I'm gonna go over to my media and I have my Trail Traveler logo over here and I'm gonna just bring this into place. I'm gonna take one of the blues, attach it to the blue, I'm gonna take the green, attach it to the green, Oh, okay, there we have it. And now I can start manipulating this on here. Go to my compositing. Now, this is a problem that I've had a couple of times for some reason, in that this is a PNG file and it's the transparency is not working. And I, I'm not really sure why. Um, it it should it should work. And I'm there. We go. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to take the top one. I my bad. I accidentally took the wrong one. You take the top blue, move it to the blue on the surface tracker. Boom. Everything's there. Good. Whew. Okay. Had me going there for a moment. Let's go to our reference again, and. Let's just get this in a spot that looks fairly natural for that particular frame. We'll go to our edit tab. Let's go to the beginning of that frame of the clip. Hello, trail travelers. It is Terry and Look at that. <laughs> okay, now it looks a little looks a little fake right there. So I'm going to go to the surface tracker again, and I'm going to pull down the opacity just a hair more. There we go. Like you can see the, like the material coming through it. It maps really nicely as that jacket moves. So that's how to use the surface tracker in DaVinci Resolve 18. I think there's some really unique applications for this. Adding tattoos to somebody, adding um, scars to somebody, doing all kinds of cool things like that that you know maybe we haven't all thought of yet, but there's some really cool applications for the Surface Tracker. So check it out if you do something cool with it. Let us know. I'd love to share it. And thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate it. If uh, you haven't, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, check that bell icon putting out more content all the time with DaVinci Resolve 18, and we always do tons of product reviews. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.